Good morning, good morning from Stitches and Jacks. It is Thursday, the 2nd of June. How could I forget? I'm just a bit conscious of a fringe. <laughs> My hair's a bit wild. Um, this morning, say good morning, good morning. Oh, I was so tired yesterday because I've been up at half past two in the night and just stayed up, so I was absolutely fucking. And um, went to bed about half nine, quarter to ten. But not this morning, I'm not as bright, I'd have bushy tailed. As I would like, but there we are. So welcome, welcome everyone, welcome to my home. Good morning. <laughs> Come and join the madness. Right, um, my name is Karen. I'm Stitches and Jacks, and Stitches and Jacks because I like lots of crafty um, activities, knitting, crocheting, quilting, sewing, all that kind of thing. Who knows what else I'll get into? So I am full on celebrating the Queen's Jubilee over the next few days. Here's my wallpaper and my map of 18, 1852 of London. I used to live um, down south, as you probably can tell. I don't think I've got much of an accent, but there we are. And I have my cushions. I might come back and show you that um, later on. <laughs> I'm just about to go to Marks and Spencers. Um, and for those of you that don't live in the UK, Marks and Spencers is um, a really nice like shop sells food, clothes um, for men, but all, all genders, and um, furniture. And when you go to, well, when I go to Marks and Spencers, I always think it's a bit of a treat. It's a bit above the like normal um, supermarkets, but not as posh as if you went into... Um, Harrods or Fortnum and Mason. Um, so yes, are we ready? Are we ready for the t-shirt reveal? I only have two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, have two. I don't want everybody to switch off then. Um, let's just see if I don't fall down the step. Right, let's have a look. Can you see? Da -da, da -da. Oh, I'm not tall enough, am I? Yes, it says, should have rehearsed beforehand, shouldn't I? It says, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Honouring 70 years, 1952 to 2022. How good was I? Hey, how good was I? Yes, yeah, so this isn't a podcast about a woman flashing up with them. It's a woman who is absolutely mad um, over the royal family and very proud to be um, British English. So as I say, I'm off to go to Marks and Spencers because I have heard that they are doing a special Jubilee Corgi Cake. They do Colin the Caterpillar, but I want the corky cake. I was there last week, but it's, the date was the 31st of May. So it's just something to put on the table for the boys. Because I love my granny boys, so I'm all prepared. Have my bag. Ta-da! And, just in case I need it, have my flag. Because yesterday, when I went for a walk, I met a giraffe. As you do. And he was very regal, had his um, cloak on, it was a cloak, yeah, purple, raw purple cloak and a crown. And I didn't, I just had, I just had my t-shirt, but I got a picture. So hopefully you saw that. Yay! Right, I'll see you later.
I'm back. I'm back. Do you believe ready? Nearly. <laughs> TV's on. On pause. <laughs> so I'd all the way to Marks and Spencers to get my cake. And then got any. Sold out. But I managed to get um, some caramel corgi mousse cakes. Look at those. So I thought well, that'd be very nice. And we are we're gonna be on our own tonight, so we're gonna watch some of the telly, some of the footage that's on. So Mr. Jax is making us a moussaka um tonight. And for pudding, we're gonna have a little bit of fizz. Um it'll probably be like Bucks Fizz or Fizzy Water or something like that, but I've got some look at that. And this is an eat a mess um chocolate clay which is lovely. And eat a mess is basically cream, raspberries and meringue. I managed, oh, I'm just in the wrong place. I managed to get um, a couple of cheeses for the cheese board. Um, this is a Wensleydale cheese with cranberries. Look at that. And this one is, I've got my glasses on, a Barber's medium cheddar cheese with roasted onions and balsamic vinegar. Oh, they'll be delicious. And my son-in-law is a real cheese fan, fiend, so he will be um, happy with that on the cheese board. I managed to get some jam. I've already got a pot of jam, but Jubilee strawberry and champagne jam. So that sounds delicious, doesn't it? So that'd be really lovely, really lovely. And then for my daughter, she quite likes gin. Now she's had the baby, she'll be able to have a glass of um, alcohol. So I bought her extra thin, extra thick pink gin. Oh, the TV's gone off now. <laughs> and we have got a platinum Jubilee pork pie. <sighs> Delicious. Managed to get some little medium little ones. So nine mini platinum Jubilee pork pies. Oh my word, look at those. So they are like um, like a cooked meat, like a, um, like a pork. And then they've got like a mustard topping, a piccalilli topping, oh, which is delicious, I love piccalilli. And um, like a cranberry and a chutney. So really like those. And then I picked these up. Um, 12 coronation chicken quiche bites. And we are having coronation chicken sandwiches tomorrow as part of our high tea. And the coronation chicken was a recipe that was developed um, when the Queen had her coronation in, well, it would have been 1953. She became our Queen in 1952, but it was um, delayed. So yes, I'm going to go and watch the telly. I'm going to have my breakfast and um, sit down and uh, enjoy that. So I'll see you later on in the day.
Let me stand back. <laughs> Let me stand back. Um, ah, have you watched Troop of Another Colour yet? It's been amazing. We were so happy to watch it and to see the Queen, to see her come out and yeah, just amazing. Just amazing. So I am in the kitchen this afternoon, busy um, making um, or just trying to prepare ahead as much as I can. So what have I done so far? I've made the pastry, I'm doing homemade sausage, sausage rolls for tomorrow. So I'll either finish those today and just stick them in the fridge and cook them off tomorrow, or I'll um, finish them off tomorrow and then I can cook those. I've got the sandwich fillings to do. Um, we're having got egg mayo, mayo to do. I'm just looking at my list. I'm looking down. That's why I've got egg mayo to, to make coronation chicken and poached salmon. So I'll do that in a bit. The I'm concentrating on our dessert. We are having the um, we're having a trifle on Saturday. That's going to be our sort of main celebration. Um, and we're having the lemon Swiss roll and amaretti trifle that um, won the Jubilee Pudding competition that was hosted by Fortnum and Masons. And you can go on to BBC Good Food. And that's the pudding there that won. Absolutely beautiful. And the programme is amazing. It's really interesting um, to watch. Really interesting to watch. Now, there's lots of ways that you can do this to make it... Um, gluten-free, dairy-free, there's loads of stuff that's around. I'm just going to follow the recipe because we don't have to take those factors into, into consideration. Um, I say if my husband does the cooking, I know my way around the kitchen and I think I'm fairly accomplished. <laughs> so I've got to make, um, there's gonna be a, like a Swiss roll base so you, you can either, you can go and buy one and then just um, cut it up. But we, I'm going to make one, but I won't be able to do that till tomorrow because I'm going to make, um, there's a jelly, a St. Clement's jelly that goes with it. So if I make the sponge, obviously roll it, cool it, and then I can unroll it, put the jam on, slice that, and then I can put the jelly on. So I'll probably do the jelly first because that'll need time to cool. And then I can do the Swiss rolls. I think and do that so I can sort of do it in sections I was just looking to see if I'd left the um, trifle bowl through this serves 12 so that is a huge huge trifle I've got our trifle bowl out or dessert bowl that we use and I've measured it and it's four pints so I'm just going to make everything and then arrange all the layers and then with what is left I'll make some individual ones because they, it will get eaten um, so the first thing I have to do is to make the amaretti biscuits and these are, I haven't read the recipe, where to place them. So I imagine they'll be on, on the top and there might even be some in here. But I'll read the recipe and then I'll properly <laughs> I can come and show you. But um, yeah, dummy egg, egg white. <coughs> Got my ground almonds, I didn't have enough so I had to make some myself, just a question of putting in the thing, and my cast of sugar. So I'll make those, and maybe what I'll do is just keep coming back and showing you stuff and the footage getting longer and longer, I'll just put some photographs in, um, so I'll do this bit.
Hello. <laughs> Good evening <laughs> from Stitches and Jacks. Oh my word, what a day. What a day. It is. Yeah, 25 to, 25 to 9. And I am tired. I am tired. Um, I just got carried away in the kitchen um, sort of all afternoon. Um, hopefully all the prep will pay off like tomorrow. Um, so what have I made? I've made, well, you'll see some footage and see some photographs. I, on special occasions, well, I like to make my sausage rolls from scratch. I'll make my pastry from scratch. I've done all that. or well, the pastry. I haven't made the sausage rolls yet, but hopefully I can do that tomorrow. That'd be quite quick to do, she says, with all what I've got on. Um, yeah, I've made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, I've got two or three lists going of what I need to do. And I was just busy working down my list for today. I've actually made something that sh I should be making tomorrow. Oh, so that's sort of that's um, just thrown everything out. I'm making the platinum jubilee uh, trifles. I was say trophy. <laughs> that might be easier. Um, and one of the things was to make the jelly and the Swiss rolls. Uh, not the jelly. Yeah, to make the jelly and the Swiss rolls. Which I was going to make those tomorrow because it's first um, Saturday. But I put it on my list for today, so I ended up making the jelly. I was like, oh my word, what to do, what to do, what can I do with it? Can you like warm jelly up, like dissolve it? I don't know. <laughs> so I had to make Swiss rolls. So uh, drama over, Swiss rolls are made. Jelly's over and it's all in the fridge. So yeah, there's a little bit of footage on this uh, video and I'll put a bit more on. To, uh, tomorrow and then well maybe I'll put it on when um, I complete it on Saturday so we're just like trying to juggle all the fridge and everything um, what else have I made oh I made the Aberati biscuits where did I put those oh yeah I put them away <laughs> they're in a tub airtight tub so yeah I'm all right dinner <laughs> oh let me calm down let me calm down so cheers so I hope you've had a super day Sorry, obviously in our household, it's all been jubilee jubilee from the time I got up. And um, yeah, I feel like I've been chasing my tail. But I hope you've had a lovely day, whatever you've been doing. Um, you know, whether you've been, it's been gorgeous here in, in the Northwest, whether you've been like out of the garden, been for a walk, been to see a friend, been to see something. Um, you know, hopefully the beacons are going to be lit, aren't they? So I want to go and sit and um, yeah, watch some of that footage. If you've been watching um, any of the footage on TV today, oh my word, I was so excited and so pleased that I saw the Queen and she was able to come on the balcony and it's brilliant, it's brilliant. It's so, she loves us so much. She's just like, like the nation's grandma, isn't she? Everybody, like, you know, it's not just us, it's everybody that's in the Commonwealth, the Queen that she's of other countries as well. It's just, yeah, just amazing. So I said to you that I would um, come on and give you an update on the Queen. Well, she isn't finished. We're almost there. We're almost there. She doesn't really have to be here. Our main party is Saturday. So that's when she has to be ready to be put on the table or put wherever I'm going to do this display. So she's still, well, I was going to say the same state, bless her, as she was <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> but yeah. She's nearly there. I keep laughing about this, <laughs> rubbing her tummy. Oh dear. But I have um, made the jewels, made all her jewellery. Look, her crown. Oh my word, I'm so excited about that. Oh, can't I? I don't know if I can do that with one hand. And her necklace, I've sewn all the ends in as well. I think I might just have to play about with, yeah, play about with this. How lovely is that? Ta-da! <laughs> so that's her, that's her crown. Oh my word, where are the earrings? I have made them. Hopefully they're on the table and I forgot to put them on this tray. This is the um, little crown emblem. I'm not sure if I've actually got that correct, but yeah, oh maybe. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? But that's gone, that's gone the mantle. <laughs> and then, oh, <gasps> Fabulous look, a fabulous ruby bracelet. Wow, that's lovely. So yes, so hopefully tomorrow morning <laughs> when I have a cup of tea, I'll be able to do that. I was so tired yesterday, so tired, but I just, yeah, just flaked. 
the curse of um, the curse of getting up in the night, isn't it? So thank you all for uh, yeah making comments. I'm just going to do like a little jubilee quiz, just till I don't know Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Um, so I have my quiz book. <laughs> they don't know that I have this. Um, I kept everything low key. So I've had um, text today from the girls, like what time are we coming or whatever. And I think they think <laughs> they're just coming. They're just going like, to sit around and yeah, I've got plans. So we will see. So, yes, the Jubilee quiz book was, oh, I was going to say, where's my glasses? Oh my word. Right, okay. So I was very pleased that uh, you did very well. Uh, yes, to do with the first question. So it's the second question today. Shall we have a look at the coronation? Oh, wait a minute. What's that? What page is it? Oh, my word. 17. Okay, 17. 17. Oh, oh. Don't really want to go for number two today. Right, let's have, let's have question 15. So you need to be listening. Are you ready? You ready? You got pen and paper? <laughs> the coronation service is divided into six parts. In which part is the crowning? The coronation service is divided into six parts. In which part is the crowning? Is it A, the investiture, B, the anointing, C, the enthronement, D, the oath? I'll just read this again. The coronation service is divided into six parts. In which part is the crowning? A, the investiture. B, the anointing. C, the enthronement. And D, the oath. So if you leave me um, a message down below, um, if you're on, yeah, you'll have to go on to a laptop or a computer or an iPad, something like that, so you can so you can do that. Um, and we'll carry this on till Sunday, and then I'll announce. Every, so if you um, give me the answer, and I'll put your names in a hat and pick somebody out on. What did I say? Did I say Sunday or Monday? I'll well, perhaps do Monday. I'll be tired on Sunday, won't I? Yeah, we we'll do Monday. Right, Monday up. Um, and however. If you answer every, every day, so is that, that'll be four or five, won't it? Four or five questions. You'll have, if you answer, it'll be five, five, um, five chances of winning. You can tell I'm tired of my brain. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, five chances of winning. And also, let me know what you've been doing today. And that'll give you a bonus, um, a bonus chance. That's it. I need to write that down on a piece of paper. <laughs> Right, I'm going because I'm tired. Oh my word, and it's nine minutes already. I've got, got to my doll. Please forgive me. Yeah, please forgive me. I'll try and keep tomorrow uh, short. It might be more, perhaps photographs and footage. Um, I was going to say silent footage. Well, without me talking, yeah, I'll carry on talking for ages. <laughs> Good night, my lovelies. Oh, and cheers to those of you that are celebrating with me, to those of you that aren't celebrating but are watching me and just cheers in general and Dawn this is for you cheers my love wish you were here bye